Consider signage that you see along the roadways as you're driving a vehicle. Stop signs, yield signs, school zone signs, and other warnings. Just like on the road, we have information and regulatory marks on our waterways. Informational markers will alert boaters to hazardous, restricted areas, operating restrictions, swim zones, or they can provide directions and other information. Buoys and signs in the UWMS are white with an orange border at the top and bottom of the marker for buoys placed or authorized by state officials. Signs are white with an orange border. These markers, such as no wake or restricted areas, are enforceable by state and local law enforcement. It is safe boating practice to have a pre-launch checklist that includes reviewing nautical charts, both paper and electronic, for an overview of your route. These markers will be found on charts so you can plan your route accordingly. Now, let's discuss what these aids look like, where you will find them, and how you will use them. Danger, exclusion, restricted operations, and information. Let's start with the hazardous area markers. These markers will have an orange diamond shape with a description of the hazard above and below the diamond. The hazard you are being alerted to could be rocks or other obstructions, areas impacted by extreme low tides, or various other hazards depending on the area. There are some hazardous areas that may not be marked, so taking note of these areas and how the water moves through them can teach you what to look for. For example, waves moving towards a sandy beach will break near the beach. If a wave is breaking in the water with no visible beach around, be cautious, as it is likely very shallow there. Another example is fast-moving water and eddies. Eddies are currents moving contrary to the main current, especially in a circular motion. This effect can quickly move your boat off the course in which you were steering and possibly towards a dangerous area. If you are less experienced in this area, it's best to stay towards deeper waters as the effect will be much less. Next are exclusion markers. These have an orange diamond shape with a cross. These markers could be around power plants, commercial waterfront facilities, or underwater facilities. Ignoring a restricted area marker could be very dangerous. Adherence to these markers is important for safe boating. In addition to the risk, boating in a restricted area will attract the attention of marine patrol and a violation could be issued. Restricted operation markers alert boaters when to slow down, resume operating speed, or how to share the waterways with mixed craft or swimmers. The signs will have an orange circle and a description of the restriction. These are often marking areas of minimum wake, maximum speed, and swim zones. The minimum wake zones and speed zones will often be found near marinas, docks, launch areas, narrow waterways, or critical habitat areas. You should always travel slowly in any of these areas, even if you don't see a speed restriction marker. Another lesson is to take note of the speed of other boats around you and the wake that they are creating. Watch how it affects your boat. This can help you adjust your speed to ensure a safe and responsible wake. Remember that slow is pro and faster is disaster. Swim zone markers could be found near popular beaches and other swimming areas. Give these areas a lot of space and maintain a good lookout. Sometimes swimmers can venture just outside of the area putting themselves in danger. This may also be an area where you will find human propelled boats like paddle boards, kayaks, or canoes. These boats sit low to the water and can easily be lost in the background of the shoreline or the waves. It's good practice to slow down if you have to travel anywhere near this area. Informational markers will have an orange square shape on a white background with a description identifying marinas, locations with fuel, campsites, and boat ramps. These can be great places to take a break during your boating adventure or to refuel at the end of your day. They can also be areas of higher boating traffic, so always maintain a safe speed. Learn more about the resources in your area by speaking with other boaters and looking at local charts. It is very helpful to know where these resources are before you need them. Challenge yourself to take notice of what is around you when boating. It is important to always be on the lookout for anything unexpected when you're on the water. Learning about the Uniformed Waterway Marking System is one tool that can help you understand the areas around you and how you should act on the water. If there are things that you don't know about, keep up with our National Safe Boating Council website and continue to learn.